Hey guys, Pat from Elite Action Joe Studios. How are you today? Uh, so it's Sunday, October something, 17th. I don't know, I can't keep track. Uh, so we were hoping this video would be our stop motion, but uh, we made it a little bit more, what's the word I'm looking for? Elaborate. Elaborate, good job. Tech and vocabulary. Um, but yeah, we, we went a little big with it, kind of. Um, not saying it's long, it's just we did a lot more than we usually do. Tried some different things and stuff, so it's uh, been a little bit more of a challenge for Jay to kind of splice it in. And then I've been working a lot, so I couldn't do mad lines. Um, I only have one day off, and by the time I do, you know, the wife's list and hang out with the kids and do regular stuff, and uh, that was an abrupt jump with the camera. Um, yeah, I need to adjust it. Okay, anyway, sorry. Uh, so anyways, we just want to jump on. There's a couple things I'm going to go over uh, real quick, and uh, hopefully soon we'll have that next up motion. Uh, first, just my usual shout-outs. Um, I've been just, uh, at night when I get home from my two jobs, I've just been watching a lot more YouTube, so I'm making sure I'm not missing anybody. Um, but just again, I'm going to shout-out some of my favorites because uh, they've had a lot of stuff out or have some new stuff out. Um, first, the three S's, that's what I call them. Spider Monkey just put one out. Uh, Skull Reviews, uh, is he's always putting stuff out. And then Jeff over at Skunk Works, um, Skunk Works G.I. Joe Custom, his, uh, he's had a couple little shorts, got some Halloween <coughs> things and some teasers and stuff. Uh, but uh, check those three guys out. We'll have them in the links. I'm sure you guys all know them. You're all subscribed to them because uh, the community kind of goes around uh, a group. Um, but if for some reason you're, you're not, you're maybe somehow subscribed to us and you don't know some of these other ones, um, which I would find highly unlikely because most of those probably find their way to us. But, uh, anyway, uh, those three. And then also... Um, Two other ones that I really uh, like, uh, Open by Chance. Uh, he talks a lot about vintage toys in general. Um, he's got a, he's got a real. I've been watching him for a long time, um, and uh, so check him out. Um, also, the Logic Blaster. I've mentioned him uh, quite a few times, uh, and I know some of the other guys have actually shouted him out. But uh, just beware. That was my phone. Uh, it's probably my wife saying you should be doing something more constructive than talking to YouTube. But anyway, um, so uh, Logic Blaster, you have to be careful with Logic Blaster because I am now, like, I'm a pretty solid G.I. Joe collector, 12 inch, but I have just this, like, urge to go out and start buying the uh, Mego redos and the uh, figure. FTC, he calls it, Figure Toy Company? Figure Toy Company? Maybe? I don't know. But those, those are, they, I'm, if you guys did Mego figures when you were a kid, uh, you know, Mego was remaking them, but before they started remaking them, uh, this company, FTC, which I think is what I just said, but check out Logic Blaster, and you can see he's, he does a lot of reviews on those, a lot of uh, Adventure Team reviews. But he also does all kinds of uh, in-package and out-of-package stuff. Uh, but I have like this huge sick, sick urge that I've just been fighting to not start buying Mego stuff and the FTC figures. But I, there's just a couple of them on there that I just think, I, I think I'm going to have to buy or hint to my family to buy for Christmas. Hint. Hint. Anyway, uh, so... Check those out. He just there was a there was a Batgirl one on there. He just, he just did uh, a couple of uh, Robins and Batmans and um, they were just really cool. If if you were an Amigo as a kid or if you do them now, um, just phenomenal. And he covers it all. So uh, that's uh, Logic Blaster. Another one, Lockdown Productions. Uh, I had shouted out him a few times, and uh, he's from um, he's from Great Britain, and he had, he does great stuff. Uh, he's got this this uh, ongoing storyline of a uh, like zombie apocalypse kind of thing, and um, I'm, this shout out is actually to Tony. Tony, what's up? Are you okay? Let us know because uh, we were talking a little bit, and then all of a sudden I noticed. I know you bought a house, 
probably been busy with that, but all of a sudden no videos, I haven't heard back. So if you, for any reason, get uh, the chance to watch this, um, quit looking at your phone. No, I'm getting texts as well. Okay, well, know. just set it down, because you're looking, you're like literally shooting my belly button, if, I, if it was. Anyway, phones, right? Anyway, uh... So, Tony from Lockdown Productions, man, I miss your videos, I miss talking to you, so just drop me a line, let me know uh, how you're doing and what's going on. Um, uh, next, I'm going to get to something. Uh, so, Gary Curtis, who's one of, uh, probably one of our first ten, I think we went through this before, um, subscribers, uh, he asked me on the last uh, one, when I, when I had this figure up, um, I said I had reflocked this. <clears throat> now he asked me if I could do an un, uh, a, a reflocking uh, video. Um, I, I just I don't have the time to do it real quick, but I'm going to explain really quick my process. And you, it's it's somebody on YouTube a long time ago had it on there. It doesn't use the machine. It's not the greatest technique, but if you're looking at this figure and think, oh well, that's pretty good, you. Most of you probably don't think it's very good, but I mean, some of you do it. You have the machines, and you're like Skunk Works. He he does them, and they're just like perfect. But um, <clears throat> so the technique I use, uh, like I said, it's very very basic. First, to show you this kit that I have. Um, when we started this, the new room and stuff, I I, I found these photo boxes or uh, scrap paper boxes, and they're really nice because they stack inside the cabinets. Um, but this is one of my basic ones. I have like all the paints I use, the glues I use, some Velcro, uh, some Sharpies. Um, my, I call it peat tape. This is that peat uh, tape that sticks to itself. Um, I actually just used this on this figure because he had a really floppy knee. So instead of trying to change it out or, or do something, I just made him like a little knee brace and it, it completely, it completely stopped flopping. It's just, it's an easy fix just to just to hold them tight. Um, I use it for all kinds of stuff, you know, loose elbows. Um, even if their hip joints are uh, a little loose sometimes, um, if you just wrap this around, because you can make it as tight or as loose as you want, it just sticks to itself, so it won't leave any sticky residue on your figure. Um, this stuff is like uh, a miracle. I use it too, like uh, about two weeks ago, I think I broke this finger. Um, landscaping and I taped it with this I had it on there for you know two three days in a row and it it uh, it healed up good but when I took it off like regular tape there wasn't all kind of sticky mess that I had to scrape off but um, so anyways this is just my box of, of things uh, <clears throat> so for the um, for the flocking I use a really simple technique and like I said it's it's not the greatest technique at all uh, but it's it's what I do and it's good enough for me um, so this is what I do <clears throat> I uh, first you gotta buy your flocking of course uh, now I've been having trouble finding flocking on eBay is where I usually got it before um, this is from flock you yes flock you um, F L O C K flock is what I'm saying. Flock like you. birds. So, um, so that's where I've got it. In it. Uh, but I haven't been able to get on eBay lately, and I don't do a lot of on online shopping. But maybe my family could get me some flocking for Christmas. Hint. Anyway, all right. So um, this was the this was the bag that I used for this figure. And then what I do, and it's it's like I said, it's simple. I found it on YouTube a long time ago. It's probably there somewhere if you if you type in flocking. Um, you you strip off the, the hair the figure has almost everybody who has a flocking video um, has the same technique to clean it up and stuff so you can you can do that but um, this figure was already cleaned up I bought it on eBay somebody had stripped it down to reflock it and it was it was ready to go so then what you have to do like uh, with everybody else they use some kind of glue I use I used to use the white tacky glue then I found the clear gel tacky glue, and that's what I use on it. Um, it works a little bit better, I think. It doesn't clump as much as this. This is more like white pasty, like uh, Elmer's, but it still works. But so I've been using this, and it's it definitely has improved the heads that I've done. Um, and then this is the weird part. 
So I, you can get these bottles. They're like travel bottles for you know whatever you need. Typically. Yeah, yeah. Well, that or like if you're oh, going on a trip to do shampoos or whatever, yeah. I think you get them. That's where you buy them in the in like Walmart or whatever. But <clears throat> the way the static works for for me, and for the way I read it uh, or watched it on um, YouTube was you put your flocking in. Uh, I just have a little leftover from him. I'm not going to dump some more because I don't know what I'll be using. But um, also, I wouldn't use the same four different colors. I, I have different ones for different colors. But what you do after you get your flocking in there, you just shake it like crazy. Like I usually shake it for like two minutes. And it, it does actually build up static inside of there. Anytime you rub anything or anything. So the more you have in there, the static's going to build up. I mean, not if you fill it. but um, So that actually builds a little bit of a static charge. Not the same as you're going to get with a machine. So if you like, you really pronounce, you know, standing up. And then all I do is is I have a container like this. It's like a lunch container from the kids. Um, and since Emma's, we're homeschooling still since COVID. Um, I just take my figure and hold it over and just... This one here is nice because it'll like it'll puff out. Like I'll just squeeze it once and it'll shoot a little puff, and I'll just puff, 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 puff. And then um, I use this because that way you can capture the the flocking you don't use because it can make a big mess and then you you waste it. And um, so I just go all around and then like I'll tap it off and I'll look for bald spots and puff, puff. The, the most important thing is making sure you get your glue right along the, the hairline you want because once you get the the uh, flock on obviously it's really hard to go back and touch up to try and add a little more to a bald spot because then you're going to get the flocking all messed up so make sure you're real precise where you want it and then then at the end I just kind of blow off the extra into the uh, thing gently and that's that's all I do um, like you said it's it's not the best technique I know uh, but I, like I said, I saw it on YouTube. I don't remember who or where or when. It was a long time ago, at least five years ago. So I, I can't even remember where. But that's the technique that I learned, and it's worked for me. I don't do a lot of reflocking. This, uh, the last uh, couple, excuse me. So I, I tried to do, make, I took a, I don't know what this head was for, but it was like a remake of, of a Joe. Um, I just tried to make, to see if I could make it look like the, um, the black commander and it this one didn't turn out so good because I missed some spots and bald spots and stuff um, so I might strip it down again and redo it but I did that the same day as I did this and this one turned out pretty good I thought now there you know like I said it's not perfect it's not great but if if you want a quick technique if you want to try it and it works for you and then you don't have to invest in a machine then that's super cool and but I, I told Gary I tried to do something so Gary, that's the basics. That's the basic that I use. Um, if you if you want to give it a shot and, and try it, what I do sometimes is I'll take um, some of the newer figures and just take like sometimes I move, you know you move heads around or whatever if you're a customizer. I have some leftover heads and I'll just tr you know practice on them. Um, but if you have any questions uh, about my technique uh, and Gary, I hope that answer your questions. If if you really want me to do a complete one um I, i'll try to do that uh let me know but i just like i said we we're having so much trouble trying to catch up on that uh stop motion i didn't want to try and do that I, I just that's the basics it's it's pretty simple so but reach out to me gary if you have any questions um and i like to help you if you guys have questions for me and that i can put out to everybody because I don't know if everybody goes to everybody's page and reads the comments I like to do it um, but if you have a, ever have a question and I don't have an answer for you I like uh, Eddie Burton asked me one time about snaps uh, sewing snaps on um, on vintage uniforms <clears throat> and I reached out to the community got a few little bit of feedback don't know if that really helped Eddie or not um, but uh, I'm sure you guys know Eddie he's, he's uh, he goes by G.I. Joe Eddie he's always commenting and uh, so hello to Gary and Eddie both, and I'm going to move on.